Hey what is happening guys this is Nav and this is a short review of the Monoprice MP Voxel which is an affordable 3D printer with superb print quality and perfect for beginners too. Throughout this video I'll be telling you the pros and cons of this printer as well as my final thoughts on whether I would recommend this to you or not. However, spoiler alert, I absolutely love it so stick around to find out why. This is a great upgrade from the Flash Forge Finder which was my very first printer that I reviewed a while back. Check out the link above if you're interested to see that video. Now this printer is great value as you get a lot for your money. It's compact too and doesn't take much space on your desk. It measures in at 38cm wide, 41cm height and 33cm depth. As of making this video it's priced very reasonably at less than 330 UK pounds and under 399 US dollars. However, check out the Monoprice website linked below as sometimes they'll have offers on so you could get it cheaper too. Here are some of its main features. Number 1, it has Wi-Fi with access to Flash Cloud and Polar Cloud to print remotely. You can also use USB to print as well as Ethernet to connect directly to your computer's network. Number 2, fully enclosed so it's very quiet. Number 3, touchscreen colour display. Number 4, heated bed that reaches 100 degrees Celsius so printing ABS isn't a problem. Number 5, flexible and removable build plate so removing objects are very simple. So a scraper is not even required. Just be careful though when printing ABS as the plate will get very hot. PLA prints are fine as it only requires it to be 50 degrees Celsius. Number 6, a decent 150mm cube build volume which isn't that big but it's adequate for most users. Number 7, auto leveling with a minor issue that I'll mention later. Number 8, remote camera viewing, again not perfect. Number 9, clip on detachable nozzle. Setup was beginner friendly as it pretty much worked straight out of the box. All I did was plug it in, turn on the power, feed in the filament which by the way you get a full 0.5kg spool, just follow the instructions on the screen and press OK when the filament starts to come out of the nozzle. Now it was ready to print and the very first print that I did was the sample cube which was pre-installed in the memory. The print was perfect with smooth edges and no issues. I found that the built-in camera wasn't ideal as it only shows a very laggy picture feed so I guess it's okay if you're out and want a quick glance at the progress of your print and that's about it. However if you want to record a time-lapse video like I did then a different camera should be used. If you want to know how to access the camera feed then all you do is register for either a Flash Cloud account or Polar Cloud and add your printer with those platforms. As you can see I went on to print more things and they came out great too. Here's an idea, let me know in the comments below what I should print next. Here's a time lapse of this small vase. Some prints that I've not shown ended up in the bin as I forgot to add supports for one item. Another item failed as one side of the print bed is slightly lower on my unit. This isn't a big issue for me as I just make sure to add, a th uh, add rafts to the print in flash print, the slice software. Also this retractable sword didn't print well as the retractable blade fused together inside. I probably need to tweak the parameters to make sure separated items have enough clearance when printing. Other than those, everything else printed great with the included filament. If you intend to print with other third party filaments like myself, then you probably won't be able to fit in the spool in the printer. Hence you'll have to leave the spool door detached and have some sort of separate spool holder as I've done. The filament that I used printed this 3D Benchy fine with minimal issues and very slight webbing. Here's another time lapse of the 3D Benchy. As you can see it printed out nicely. The writing at the bottom is also readable and with a small amount of changes to the parameters it'll print perfect. The other figure that I printed started off great but somehow missed one of the forearm sections but most of it was fine. Also removing of objects is very simple indeed thanks to its flexible and removable build plate. I've not used a scraper yet. Removing objects from the Flash Forge finder was a bit cumbersome and sometimes items wouldn't stick to the bed where there wasn't enough glue applied using a glue stick 
That's history now as I don't have to do any of that with this printer. Finally a note on how loud it is, you'll be pleased to know it's very quiet. In fact it's the most quietest 3D printer that I've owned, with it being fully enclosed that helps with reducing the noise too. Here's a clip to hear whilst it was printing. I leave it printing overnight in my study room which is the adjacent room to my bedroom and I can't hear it while in bed. Just remember to turn off the buzzer beep as it will wake you up when the print finishes. It does have loud beeping tunes. So here are my final thoughts and pros and cons of this printer. Good things about this printer are, number one, it has a very nice minimalist design. Number two, it's very affordable. Number three, beginner friendly with simple user interface and slicer software. Number four, print quality is absolutely amazing. Number five, heated bed and ABS compatible as well as many other filaments too. Number six, fully enclosed and quiet. Number seven, connects wirelessly to my computer. And number eight, safe and great to use around children too. The things that I didn't like about this printer are, number one, my unit had a slightly off balance build plate, but as I mentioned earlier, I just use rafts on some builds and it's fine. Number two, I'm not a fan of the built-in camera as there's lots of lag. And number three, not being able to use a larger spool on the spool holder. However, again, there are workarounds to that too. So in conclusion, I would highly recommend this printer to anyone looking to achieve high quality prints. It will be perfect for first time buyers too as it's pretty much worked straight out of the box. Comment below if you want to know anything else about this printer or if I've forgotten to mention anything. Also comment below on what I should print next, I'm curious. So that's it for this video, if you enjoyed it and you found it useful then smash that like button and if you're interested to see more videos like this then consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be one of the first to know when my videos are out. So until next time guys, take care.